Hillary Clinton was taking the weekend to prepare for the final debate this Wednesday, but as she stepped out of the spotlight, WikiLeaks released another batch of emails thought to be from Clinton's top aides. ABC's Cecilia Vega joins us now with all those details for us. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning to you. The Clinton campaign calls this a crime reminiscent of Watergate, but worse, more than 1,900 emails released just this weekend. We are talking about a slow leak every day, a new batch, and the Clinton campaign knows this could be a problem for them every day until Election Day. This morning, thousands more emails appearing to show the inner workings of Hillary Clinton's campaign. WikiLeaks releasing the newest batch of what are believed to be campaign chairman John Podesta's hacked emails. One showing just how much Clinton's team struggled to get her to apologize over that private server controversy. A top advisor writing, her inability to just do a national interview and communicate genuine feelings of remorse and regret is now, I fear, becoming a character problem, more so than honesty. I see no downside in her actually just saying, look, I'm sorry, I think it will take so much air out of this. Podesta agreeing, saying, trying to figure out how to get her there and best way to execute. Ultimately, Clinton did apologize. As I look back at it now, even though it was allowed, I should have used two accounts, one for personal, one for uh, work-related emails. Uh, that was a mistake. I'm sorry about that. I take responsibility. ABC News has not independently verified the emails. The Clinton campaign not responding to individual documents. Instead, accusing the Russians of orchestrating the hack to help Donald Trump win. I don't give credence to any of these uh, dumped documents because I don't even know if they're accurate. A slow drip that has not let up. 12,000 emails so far. Everything from when Clinton should laugh during debates. Whoa, okay. To her private speeches to Wall Street that seem to contradict her public positions. Even this one, claiming Clinton told a private trade union gathering that extreme environmentalists need to, quote, get a life. And Donald Trump has questioned whether the Russians are behind the hacks. He's even questioned whether there was a hack at all. But his running mate, Mike Pence, seemed to take a different stand this weekend, saying there's no question, George, that evidence suggests Russia's involvement. Yeah, that is the judgment of our intelligence community. Thank you, Cecilia.